Silas and uh, but uh, we know they're going to be all right. Yeah, amen. Amen. So just keep them lifted up in prayer. Um, as I began to meditate over the last few days on today and what the Lord might have to say, I, uh, I would find myself in a quiet space uh, listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can hear from the Lord. You can just listen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, nothing yet? What? <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. All right. I'll check back with you in a minute. <laughs> so, you know, some hours go by and you find yourself in a, in a very quiet space. So just start to listen. Mm. Still nothing. Mm. All right. We sleep on it. You know, sometimes the Lord will speak to you in your slumber. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Which is which is really good. I like when He talks to me in my slumber when I'm asleep. There's something. Some the the nature of my sleep changes. You know. Yes. And I wake up feel, feeling good, praise the Lord. Yes, but he didn't Lord. he didn't speak to me in any in any yes, of my sleeping Lord. hours this week, praise the Lord. Yes, God. Last night I sat up fine, after finally getting the silence <laughs> to go to sleep. You know, and I, I carried him and put him to bed and so I'm in the living room to the wee hours of the morning over. Mm. Listening. The Lord didn't say nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm like, now I'm searching for inspiration. <laughs> you know, I said, do I need to go revisit some of my old notes? <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know, this isn't, it's not unusual. You know, sometimes the Lord gives it to me Sunday morning when I'm getting ready. And sometimes those are the best ones. Yeah. So even as I was getting ready this morning, 
as the Lord was listening to the Felicia. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was quiet in the car on the way to church, too. Me and Jacob, you know. A little bit of small talk, but not much. Because I said, well, you know, we'll be there in a few minutes. So. <laughs> By myself, <laughs> listening. <laughs> Came there this morning. I'm sitting there, my eyes closed, meditating, hearing the testimonies and everything. Because it, it, it has happened before. We're sitting in in the pulpit. Yeah. The Lord just yeah. dropped okay. something on me. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, feeling a little uh, extra, you know, pain this morning but I'm trying to focus and, and I'm trying to listen uh -huh. and even as I approach the podium I can hear it still yeah, it's okay so I began to speak and relay to you what I have been doing these last several days and even this morning and the Lord gave me the message. Yes. And the message is yes, listen. All right. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, glory to your name, God. Mm. When you think of the scripture, He that dwelleth. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It suggests to me a quiet place. A place of contemplation, of meditation, and a state of mind which causes you to listen. Hallelujah. Because we get so busy with life, with work, and all of the characters and attitudes that are there. We get distracted by family because we have obligations and responsibilities, and we have children and their activities. We have spouses to consider. Praise the Lord. We have household duties, chores, hallelujah. We have bills and we have cars and to maintain and on and on and on. The list is literally endless. Praise the Lord. If not endless, praise the Lord, it is long and it is perpetual. And you, and you just start the same things over and over and over again. But our lives are filled with the things that cause us to be distracted, praise the Lord. And what God desires from us is to find a quiet place where we can listen. God will speak. He will minister. He will reveal, hallelujah. He will elevate, yes. hallelujah. But if we are not in a position yes. to listen, then everything that we hear, praise the Lord, is a distraction from all of the things that God wants to say to us. Praise the Lord. You understand that the Bible, the Bible says it is the mind that, ah. with the mind that we serve the law of God. Amen? It is with the mind, right? Be ye transformed, the Bible says, by the renewing of your mind. Praise the Lord. And if our minds are cluttered with the noise of life, yeah. praise the Lord, then, then we don't, we haven't created any space for God to do what is our first priority, uh -huh. and that is to, to, to instruct us yes. concerning his work. Okay. Praise the Lord. So whatever you're into, whatever is going on in your lives, the Lord is saying this morning, I need you to listen. Come on. Oh. You understand that hearing and listening are two different things. You know, 
Uh, Jacob, my son, wonderful. Come out here, buddy. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Move swiftly, sir. Here. Oh, yeah. Have my seat. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this is a phenomenal child. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. He is brilliant. Hallelujah. He is talented. He is gifted. Yes, Lord. And he is anointed. Yes, Praise Lord. the Lord. However, he can get distracted. Praise the Lord. His midwinter break is this week, and he's been distracted in his room, praise the Lord, by his gaming system. So I have found myself on a number of occasions. Now, from where I sit, if I'm in the living room on the couch, to where Jacob's chair is at his desk in his bedroom, is only about 25 feet. And as you all know, my voice carries. Praise the Lord. So I have found myself several times this week saying, Jacob! <laughs> now I know that my voice was loud enough to penetrate that door and hit his ears. But then I find myself again having to say, Jacob! I don't like raising my voice, and I don't like repeating myself. So then, you know, so, so what you do, I want you to understand, you hear what I'm saying? So then I find myself having to change my posture. You understand? So instead of me sitting relatively relaxed on the couch, I sit up. You understand? I straighten my back and I turn my head towards his door. And I say, Jacob! And Jacob will make his way to the door and crack it open. And the first thing I say is, didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me? Am I right? Yes, Lord. Well, I, had to <laughs> so, I knew it. I knew it. Come on. <laughs> David said, well, I had the headphones on. Thank you, because that, that just helps make my point. I love it. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. The point I'm making is Jacob was distracted, yeah. as we are often distracted. Yeah. And God is trying to say something uh, to you. Yeah. And he is calling our names. Uh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. We pray, Lord, speak to me. Lord, minister to me. Yeah. Lord, I need more of you. Yeah. Lord, do this and Lord, yeah. do that. And Lord, move in this circumstance. And Lord, move in that circumstance. Uh -huh. Lord, give me direction. Lord, give me focus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And then when the Lord calls, praise the Lord, he doesn't get a response. Because we're distracted. Praise the Lord. So... God and all of his goodness, praise the Lord, and his patience and his grace calls out once again. Felicia? Uh. Rosie? Yeah, huh? right. Trish? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And he's sitting there and he's waiting. Yeah. We're distracted by whatever our version of the video may be. Come on, say Good work. Come on. Good work. Help us, Jesus. So he'll, 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 he'll give you another minute. Praise the Lord. He hasn't, he hasn't run out of patience yet. That's right. Right. But he, he calls out again. Yeah. Felicia! Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hey, Joma! Uh huh. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, Robbie. Yes, yes, yes. And he yes. waits. Yeah. But we're not just caught up in the video game. Uh -huh. 
for your headphones on. So we got our eyes set on whatever it is. We got our ears tuned into whatever the other thing is. And we are putting God in a position where he is going to have to adjust his posture. For me, it is turning my head and shouting Jacob's name. But for God, because you know this isn't a temporal thing, this is a spiritual thing. The Lord is saying, oh, I see. So I call you, but you don't hear me. I'm speaking to you, but you are not listening. So if I'm going to have to get your attention, maybe it's time to introduce a little bit of a trial. Some people wonder how they end up dealing in situations all the time. Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you are not listening all the time. That you are distracted continually and without end because you care more for what your friends have to say than what God has to say. Because you are more concerned with the attitudes and the feelings of your family than you are with what God, how to do it, and how God is trying to inspire you to move. Instead of you abiding in the secret place, uh-huh. praise the Lord, you were hanging out in the public place, right. subject to all manner of influences, and God is not in the public place. Yes. Right. I hope you understand my metaphors here. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Because he is set apart. He is not of the world. You understand? Right. And we are not supposed to be of the world, but we're always in it, praise the Lord, so much so that we are becoming a part of it when we are supposed to be separate from it. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I ministered um, one time, and I believe I shared it in a greater light uh, service. That the Holy Ghost is a necessity, but it is not a guarantee. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. You understand? You, you at some point, if you have received the Holy Ghost, yeah. have found yourself at the end of yourself. Praise uh-huh. the Lord. And God saw that you were completely turned over to him. And he said, now is the time I'm going to pour out my spirit upon you. Hallelujah. And you are going to receive me. And as Bishop used to say, nobody gets the Holy Ghost pretty. Praise the Lord. So you were crying. You were snotty. Hallelujah. You were shouting. You couldn't get it. Oh, Jesus. Looking crazy. Thank God they weren't recording. Speaking of recording, I'll tell you what. I see, you know, I see some stuff on on uh, on uh, Instagram and people people breaking out, shouting, and then you got a dozen people with cell phones on. And I'm like, well, what kind of spirit is moving in there if it ain't touched the people with the cell phone? Because you know, I know it was my experience in church. When the spirit gets to moving, when the anointing gets stirred up, praise the Lord. I don't care what state you found yourself in when you walk in the door, praise the Lord. But like a wave, come on, the comes and washes over you. I don't got time to be on a cell phone looking at somebody get a praise. I'm like, if they if they're getting a breakthrough, then I'm getting a breakthrough too. If they're receiving a blessing, ain't no blessing coming from a cell phone. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. The Lord is trying to communicate with his people, but his people are distracted. They can't hear him because they're caught up in the things of the flesh. Praise the Lord. You are not flesh and blood. You are spirit and flesh. You came through, you got it ugly. I know. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Roll it on the floor. All of it. Praise the Lord. I brother, I, I remember, I, Jesus have mercy. Somebody, I, I don't know if anybody else was here the night Brother Rodney got the Holy Ghost. He said, speak, Lord, speak, Lord. That's all Brother Rodney did for three hours. He, speak, speak. he spoke and he spoke. And he spoke. And he spoke. And he kept speaking. And he kept speaking. And I was like, you know, he must know he got it by now. He must, he must know he got it by, by now. I was, I was tired, you know. You know? <laughs> like, praise him. You know, we, we came the way we came up. You, you don't tell somebody they got the Holy Ghost. We, we don't mind. If you don't know you got it, then you keep working at it. Praise the Lord. So Brother Rodney worked at it for three hours. Praise the Lord. And he walked around that church. Oh, he's, uh, he's still doing it, ain't he, Sister Shirley? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But you got the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, it transformed you. Made you something different altogether. It made you a spiritual creature. Your humanity is secondary to the spirit of God that abides in you. Praise the Lord. But because we are in the world, some of us, you know, were had a greater affinity for the things of the world before we got saved than others. Which means we, uh, some of us are, are more... Uh, susceptible to be drawn away mm -hmm. by the lusts of our flesh yes, and Lord. enticed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Amen. We yes, draw Lord. away. <laughs> when you are drawn away, Amen. the word means what it means. Yeah. What, what are you drawn away from? Come on. From the godliness that is within you. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> the godliness that is within you. Well, you know, I've known so-and-so since I was nine years old. We've been talking. So-and-so can't take you to heaven. Yes, Lord. But so and so can grab hold of you if you allow and drag you straight to hell. Believe that. Because your affections, rather than being set on things above, are set on things in the earth. Praise the Lord, those things that are below, but you understand what I'm saying? That's right. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So, when God comes calling with an expect, because God doesn't speak to us without expectation. Yes, Lord Jesus. I don't call Jacob's name. Without an expert, I call him because I need something from him. Sometimes, oftentimes, Jacob will tell you. Most of the times, Jacob, almost all the time, Jacob will tell you is because I need him to do something for me. Am I right? Yes. But frequently, and his memory can be a little short on this, but frequently it's because I have something for him. Yes, Lord. What happens? Right. Does yes, that happen? Lord. Sometimes I have things for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I brought home a new pair of shoes and I want him to come try them on. Okay. Some new clothes, right? You see, when I'm out doing whatever I'm doing, I, I'm yes, always, I always have my son in my mind. And sometimes I'll just stop and I'm like, let me go see if they got something in there from Jacob. Right? Yeah. Or sometimes I'm like, hey man, I want you to come with me. Like yesterday. You want to come with me? He was in the room. Hey man, you want to come with me? What are we doing? 
I said, man, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you all laugh, but you do that to God. I need you to do such and such. Well, what am I going to do when I get there, Lord? Are you sure that what, 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 I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at, Lord? What are we doing? What, what's your plan? Right. Hmm? Some of us, some of us require much too much information from your, your authority. God is your authority. That is, Lord, I am Jacob's father. And what I say goes. Amen. He don't always agree with it, and he pushes back from time to time. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. <Yeah. laughs> Which is not appropriate. Yeah. And I explained to Jacob that, um, listen, man, when I was coming up, <laughs> there was no such thing as why. Exactly. <laughs> there was no question about where, where, where are we going. There was no, I don't want to go. Oh, no. <laughs> I call him. I said, said Jacob, he said, I mean, this is a late late, you know. What? What? I said, I did, I, did I just tell you that? I said, in, in 50 years, I have never responded to either of my parents. What? Ever. Did I tell you? I said, I said, out of God. Did you think my lips are big now? <laughs> oh, I don't know what that fat Albert can remember the fat Albert character. Not even me. I can't talk about that. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah, mm -mm. Yes, mom. Yes, dad. Yes, Not even yes. Yes, mom. Y'all, some of y'all know. Yeah, yeah, yes, mom. Yes, dad. Yeah, That's me. Amen. <laughs> that, that was that was Uncle Sam and uh, Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff tried. He, he tried. He did. You know, brother, 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 brother Jeff was a Jesus. He's making me shake my head. You know, you know, you know it's not it's not funny, but it, it well, my wife thought it was funny when I when I told her. You know, but you know, my my father one time. It's only so, so recently. My father one time. Uh, yes, God. called me over to him and uh, told me that I was getting a whooping. Uh, and my parents were, I'm trying to understand, my parents were, were good. They, they did not spare the rod. <laughs> but they would, they would sit down with us and they would tell us what we were getting a whooping for and how many licks we were going to get. <laughs> so they, oh no, they, they, they didn't swing wildly and crazy. You know, I mean, as we remember, we were younger. Look, younger. It was the switch, and it was the switch. Was, look, you know, if it was switch, let me explain something to you. If it was switch time, then that probably meant you were not at home. So you were in in church or some other venue, maybe visiting at someone's house. And so, mom, mom, mom or dad would instruct us to go and pick a switch. Anybody else have to pick their own switches? Yeah, and it better be green. Don't bring one back and have it break. Because if you had 10 licks coming and it broke five licks in, then you had to go pick another one and start from scratch. Let me no, no more. Yeah. You see, it wasn't just me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So when we was as we were growing, it was the belt, and it was what we used to refer to as the big black belt, <laughs> all leather. Yes. Oh, no. There was no synthetics. Oh, it was leather. Yeah. Pastor Harris, yeah, leather. it was leather, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
And we knew how many, they would tell us how many licks we were going to get. And we, you know, we, <laughs> oh yeah, we with the whimpering and all that stuff. Oh yeah, we <laughs> hyperventilating after it was over. Been there. Been to school on Monday morning with the welts on my backside. And but look better, look, please. You know, kids nowadays, they crazy. I'm, I'm gonna tell my counselor. I'm gonna tell. Ooh, please, I wish you would. Ooh, the threat of death. <laughs> Just the threat of death was implied. You know what I'm saying? But, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then, uh, and as we got a little older. You know, it was dad got a little older, and, and my mom bought him this yes. this fiberglass shoehorn. Oh, you know, that way he could sit on. And he went to it, went to the palm of the hands. Y'all remember the hot hands? You got to pull back before somebody stops you. Yeah, yeah, don't don't pull away the hands, <laughs> which is tough to take because your reflex. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're, 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 it's in your head. Your reflex is to avoid pain. Amen. Man, don't let him. Get, oh man! Oh, if he swung, if he, if he was off, just catch the tip of your pinky. Oh, I didn't tell you that one didn't count. Yeah. 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 Amen. But Jeff tried. Jeff, Jeff was he was special amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I, I I distinctly remember one time, and I don't know what preceded. I mean, I can guess or imagine what preceded it, but I walked in on on a what became uh, at some point a one-sided conversation, and Mom was looking at Jeff in the living room, and she said, "I don't care how big you get." If I have to climb a ladder, I will climb the ladder and knock you down one. <laughs> All right, now. That did more for me as a child than any woman <laughs> I ever got. I was like, <laughs> Mom, wow. Praise the Lord. But, uh, but what am I saying here? Listen, the Lord is trying to speak to you. Yes. Yes. And he has called, and he has called, and he has called, uh -huh. and you have not responded. Come on. You have not responded to his words. You have not shown deference to his authority. Praise the Lord. You have stepped out of bounds and violated your relationship yes. with him. Yes, so don't be surprised when he says, you know what? It's just time for a whooping. It's time for a whooping. I was going to say earlier, my father called me to him one day. I'm, I was a good kid. I promise you. I was a good kid. I didn't I did not like getting in trouble. I did not like being in trouble. I just I couldn't I didn't like it. So I avoided trouble. Bishop, who y'all love, and I love. Amen. Amen. <laughs> called me to him one day. And he said, uh, he said, I think it's time for a whooping. <laughs> now, mind you, I don't ask why. I didn't, I didn't ask for, you know, because they always tell you what the reason is. And uh, so I stood there and I said, okay, it's that. He said, uh, it's been too long. I remember the story. <laughs> and I think you forgot what it felt like. <laughs> Yeah, 
no, no, yes, yes. Y'all, listen, if it, if it wasn't for the fact that they are so, they, they, they are, I guess we should have said present tense, but they are so loving and kind and, you know, and we're such amazing parents, I might have, I might have developed some trauma from that incident. <laughs> Because my, 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 and I told her, I'm like, it's not funny. She laughed. She really did laugh. This was just a few days ago. She never heard the story before. I said, no, it's not funny. Yeah. I said, it wasn't funny at the time. That's for sure. Prison. Prison. But, but you cannot be surprised that if on occasion, even if you are walking up right before the Lord, and he says, you know, he may not understand this, but I need to toughen him up a little bit. I need a little bit. Mm -hmm. I need a little bit more. Yeah. And so yeah. it might bring something our way. Yeah. Yeah. But if we have been focused, because like I said, I was a good child, right? I didn't misbehave. Right? Yes, mom. Yes, dad. That's me. Uh -huh. Right? Yes, Lord. But even if we're doing right, sometimes we can do better. And we shouldn't have to do better through coercion or through corporal punishment. Yes, sir. We should do better because that is the point of our pursuit of the Lord yes, sir. and holiness. You understand? Amen. We in this time, you know, with we, with all of the talk and the, the words and the ministry coming forth, talking about how much God is going to be doing yeah. within the confines of this particular uh, ministry, everybody has to be properly positioned uh -huh. to to take part, to assume a role, to to take on responsibility, praise yeah. the Lord, to do what God requires of you. Can I get an amen? Yeah. And if we are distracted, drawn away, praise the Lord, preoccupied with all the other stuff, yes, Lord. praise the Lord, then we are not focused on the work of the Lord. Uh -huh. right. And if you're going to do the work of the Lord, then you must be prepared. And the way to be prepared, hallelujah, is to get yourself together. Yeah. Huh? What would mom say? Get your grits together. She wasn't just speaking idly, just saying something to say it. Yes, Lord Jesus. When if you are if you are pursuing a career path, praise the Lord, if you just go in and do the job. If you just do the job, I mean, you might stay employed, but you're not likely to see any elevation in your status. When it comes time for your review, there's not going to be anything that stands out or that warrants outside of maybe a cost of living increase. No, they're not going to go above and beyond to reward you because all you've done is what you are required to do yes, right you've met the requisite obligations but if you want to do more go further get ahead yes god you gotta put a little something extra in this. Huh? we me and my wife went to we went to dinner on valentine's day and uh you all know i'm self-employed and so it's critically important to me that wherever I spend my money, that um, I feel like uh, they appreciate yeah. the fact that I'm spending yeah. my hard earned money there because right. I work hard. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to this restaurant, and this uh, this waiter, I won't even call him a server because he didn't really provide any service, yeah. he waited on us impatiently and i was irritated but it's valentine's day and i'm with my wife and i'm like it's okay we don't have to come back yeah lord 
My wife, my wife, on the other hand, was like, don't leave him a tip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'll tell you why. Because we, I mean, we've had occasions where uh, <laughs> I will never in my life go to the Cheesecake Factory, uh, particularly the one that is outside. Ever. 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 But I, before we left that place, I, I asked to speak to the manager. And I explained to the manager how completely unacceptable the service was. Yes, Lord. I said, and I want you to know that I am leaving a 15% gratuity, not because it's deserved, I said, but because I don't want the narrative to be that the black guy didn't tip. I told the manager go ahead, that. Go ahead. I said, but I will never step foot in here again, ever. And it was the same sort of experience when we went to dinner on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Like we don't, we don't, we're not coming back to the crazy one. Um, yeah, yeah. Because he he wasn't interested in. I guess I guess he figured yeah. that he would just get what he got, right? Um, and and then that would be fine, and he didn't have to provide any service to us. The thing about it is, I'm the guy that will happily tip thirty thirty five percent. If I feel like you have welcomed me in and really, yeah. you know, served us, yeah. oh man, yeah. on Valentine's Day too, yeah. oh man, but he, he missed out because he was just doing the bare minimum, praise the Lord, and in order to serve God, you can't just get by with the bare minimum, not when Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all, and you want to be, uh, I'll pr you, if you only pray when circumstances hit your house, that's the bare minimum. If you only fast when one is called by the church, bare minimum. Yes, Lord. That's right. Speak. If you only intercede on someone's behalf uh -huh. when you're asked to, Come on. bare minimum. Yes, Lord. And some of us don't intercede when asked. Well, can somebody say amen. Amen. You got to you got to do more than the bare minimum. I was, you know, in reference to uh, this, what I said earlier. The, the the, yeah. uh, the sermon that I ministered, the, the Holy Ghost is necessary but not a guarantee. And all of those people are going to be standing in line, mm -hmm. waiting on judgment. Well, Lord, Lord. Yeah. I say it. I say it, and I, I want you to hear me. Lord, Lord, I cast out devils in your name. I healed the sick. Go ahead and all Pray. the Tell things all that people are going to stand before the Lord and say that they did in his Go name. And he's going to say to those people who have received the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, because that's the only way they could have cast out devils and healed the sick. In his name, depart from me. I don't know you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. He's going to honor his name. Oh, yeah. You standing up in front of a church full of folks. Yeah, come on. Declaring the works of God. Yeah. He's not going to make himself into a lie. Well, whole lot of folks. Doing, doing, ministering, and showing signs, uh -huh. but ain't living it in the back. On the back, on the back side of things. 
in the, the spotlight of the pulpit. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh. <laughs> yes, come on. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. And head back to head back to the to the office and pour themselves a cocktail. <laughs> Well, come on. Talk about it. I mean, I, y'all, yeah. you know, you couldn't possibly think I'm kidding. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, God, God ain't having it. He ain't having it. Some worse than praise the Lord. Amen. He's not having it. Listen. 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 Find yourself frequently. Certainly more often than you do now. Hallelujah. Carving out a space uh -huh. and time to sit down, to lay down, to kneel down, to close your eyes, think on the Lord, and listen. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen.